Welcome to Cam Cam on the Cam, a channel about collegiate rowing on the River Cam. This video is the first in an introductory series to coxing on the River Cam, and we'll discuss the three basic elements of coxing. Coxes have three main roles in the boat. Safety, steering, and leading the crew. The cox is responsible for the safety of their crew and other boats on the river. In an eight, the cox is the only person in the boat who can see where the boat is going. Coxes need to be aware of the hazards of the river to keep their crew safe. Hazards on the river cam include the bank, obstacles in the river like old mooring platforms, other boats, fog, anglers on the bank, swimmers and cows. To keep their crew safe, a cox needs to avoid these hazards or mitigate their dangers. Part of being safe means having the right equipment, which, according to CUCBC regulations, means having a functioning cox box in the boat, using lights, and wearing the right number of layers of clothes for the conditions, including a life jacket at all times. Coxes also need to fully understand CUCBC's rules of the river, which can be found on their website. Steering means using the rudder of the boat to keep the boat rowing on a steady course. On the cam, most eights use a rudder wire to control their rudder, which is found in the cox seat. Pushing the rudder forward on the right causes the boat to turn to the right, and pushing the wire to the left causes it to turn towards the left. Coxes also need to learn the circulation pattern of the river cam to steer a correct and safe course. This includes understanding the crossover point rules, where boats must move from the right to the left side of the river. Steering is much more complicated than just pushing the rudder wires in the correct direction, as rowers can affect the direction of the boat, as can anomalies in the river, such as the outflow. Steering takes time to master, and different boats have different turning circles, and take some time to get used to. New coxes should be aware of this fact, and take advantage of clear stretches of river to practice steering as straight as possible. Leading a team is the most complicated part of the cox's job, and encompasses many dimensions. These aspects include coaching the boat from within by giving coxing calls, making plans for races, organising the crew's equipment such as their blades, and keeping crew morale up. Coxing calls are instructions, advice, or motivation the cox gives to their crew when they are rowing. Coxing calls are unique to each cox and crew, but new coxes are often taught the calls popular in their own boat club. However, coxes should be encouraged to discover new coxing calls for themselves, from other coxes, or experiment with their own creations. We will explore all of these aspects of coxing in Cambridge in much greater detail in the future, including how to make your own coxing calls, how to deal with hazards on the river, and more detailed explanations of the spin zones and crossover zones of the river cam. I hope this brief overview of coxing on the cam has been helpful. As always, more information can be found on the CUCBC website. Next time, we will discuss the bumps, what they are, and how they work.